Aloha friends and food foresters. This is Tutu and I'm here today with this fun little method of watering seedlings, uh, which are baby plants that are, you know, they don't have very deep roots yet. So these baby plants need frequent water because the top part of the soil tends to dry out fastest. So I save these gallon jugs and sometimes I fill them with water from the store and bring them home for us to have in the house. And I also use them out here in the garden as you can see. So I wanted to show you those. See this one is empty. Now I want to talk particularly about this one because it's on a raised bed. I put this little garden, um, it was in a pot and I sort of dug a shallow hole and put the pot in the shallow hole and now it's like a raised bed around the other soil. I don't know if you can see that in the film but it's on a mound. So one of the things about raised beds they take more water and so I'll show you this I just put this water bottle in a little while ago. So here's how simple it is it's just a simple little hole in the soil Okay, like that. You can leave the you can leave the stuff in there too, but I just wanted to show you it's just like deep enough to fit the neck of the bottle. And you can use this actually. You can use this part to control which way the bottle leans. So if you want it to lean back this way, it won't go forward as much. But anyway, so that helps direct the direction of the bottle. But what I want to show you is this bottle it runs out of water fast. I've been replacing it, I think, three times today. But this bottle right here, been next to it uh, for like a week, I haven't changed it out. And this one too, I haven't changed it since I put it in days ago. So what I'm saying, what am I saying? I'm saying raised bed gardens take more water than the regular forest floor. And that's another reason why I um, I like the food forest. It it's just it's so much easier in that way also. So you can see I have a lot of these bottles around. We have put in a bunch of little cannabis plants, and we had a great cannabis harvest uh, last year. So like you can see the little little ones growing all around. The forest does really great for cannabis and other other plants edibles, flowers, yeah. oh the lemon tree, it's amazing. 